Welcome to Ucanic. In this video, we're gonna troubleshoot a Mercedes that shows a warning on the instrument cluster that's saying the hood is open while you drive. Um, so the thing to keep in mind is that these Mercedes have two latches and typically each latch has a sensor. Sometimes only one side has a sensor. The newer ones have sensors on both of them. These sensors can go bad. Sometimes what well, might happen though is one latch, um, when you close the hood, one might lock, the other might not. So check that, make sure to look at the side of the hood right here. If it's a slightly higher on one side than the other, make sure the hood is closed, all right? One thing that happens sometimes when these cars have uh, been in an accident, uh, the hood might not be uh, perfectly aligned. So you try to close it and it just it won't shut. So what you could do is you can have the hood at this height and then drop it and it will always close. Um, so that's one way, but it's not recommended. It's just only if your hood is not aligned properly. You might have to close it that way and get your hood aligned properly. But that's not always the case. You probably have checked to make sure your hood is closed. So what happens is those sensors, and we're gonna show you how to take those off, check them, and also even fix them. So you can see the one of the latches right there. You need to remove it. All you need is a 10 millimeter wrench. You get this loose and then remove these bolts. Now the other issue with these a lot of times is that the sensor that you have here has an electric connector. And you see that connector there. A lot of times this connector can get loose, disconnected for one reason or another, like be off like that. So make sure that you take this off and make sure that this connector is in place, okay? Okay, the next thing that we need to check is this switch right here. Uh, what happens is when the hood is closed, this gets pushed down and presses on the switch and closes. But this piece right here sometimes can bend down, down way too much that when this is closed, this switch here doesn't get pushed. So what you can do is take a screwdriver and then bend this up, upwards. Okay, might wanna hold it on one side. On some other models, this switch is like pushes down. It's so easy. It's like exposed on this side, and then you can put a screwdriver and then lift that up or just twist the screwdriver inside. But on this model, you just kind of have to do it this way where you bend this up. Okay, so we bend that up. Now, as soon as this starts to close, it will hit that right away, and which will push down on this switch right here. It's a little switch on the side. So you can see right there, and you can test it. Okay, now when you do this though, make sure that the cable here comes off of this channel very easily. So slide that back in, okay? Otherwise you're gonna, you're gonna um, try to open the hood and the hood won't open. Okay, make sure the cable is, and the electrical connector is put together and it clicks. And then put these back on. And of course, like uh, most of the time, that's all that is. Um, just this gets bent over time. Um, if that's not it, the switch itself is defective. You can if you can see how easy this is to replace. You can easily replace that. Um, nine times out of ten, these we can fix them simply by pressing that. They don't even need to be replaced. But uh, might be a rare case where you have to. So that's it. Get these two 10 millimeter bolts tight. And then what you wanna do is, don't, don't close the hood, but use a screwdriver, okay? And then press on this down, because, to make sure it locks. Now, the reason why I say that is not because um, we're testing the switch. Uh, in this case, we wanna make sure that you put this together correctly, and, you know, because there might be a chance that like the cable is not sitting properly or something happened, and then you close the hood, and then you pull the, uh, hood release and the, your hood is not opening anymore. So if there is any issues, then You can fix it. You can take the bolts out and you can fix it So once you press this in go and pull the hood release and that should release See how that Opened up now. It's good to close the hood and go ahead and take it for a test drive, but that should be it. Thank you for watching